Well, here's the aftermath of the 2013 Honda Civic, 2000, I don't know, 12 Honda Civic. Um, there was actually two of them out there. There was one that was a little older, it was an 09, but it was a two-door. And then there was this one, which was a four-door. Um, the two-door one still runs. He broke all of his steering, so his tires are kind of flopping all over the place. This one doesn't run, but this one did something kind of weird that I don't really know how to diagnose. I'm going to try, because I do want to run it again, because I was actually kind of impressed with this car in bone stock. Um, so the first thing that impressed me, I got a couple of tire shots. You can see the fenders pushed in, you can see how everything's pushed in. Struts straight, tie rod straight, the car still runs and drives straight. I did not really like this, because I think this is going to come in. So I'm, I might cut it here, and I might cut this here just to get that out of the way of the tire. Because I think it's designed in a fender bender to bend into the tire so then that way it stops you. So I think that might have to be cut out, which kind of sucks because that's actually like a half decent amount of steel that I'm going to be cutting out. Aluminum bumper. You know, I thought it would just break right off after one hit. It didn't. It actually folded and bent, which is kind of weird for aluminum to do, but I, di I did hit a guy pretty hard with it. So, back end is the thing that impressed me the most. I think I made three or four good shots with the back, like hard enough for my back tires to come off the ground. There was no pre-bending, there was no dimpling, there was no tucking the trunk, there was no threaded rod. This back end was 100% stock. I had two seat belts where the light tail lights went, and then I had one seat belt from the center of my trunk to my factory tie down point that the factory uses. That's all I did. But I just want to point out how nice this car actually bent. Yes, it went a little high and yes, my vision got a little bit obstructed, but the frame bent in the same spot on both sides, went up 90, turned into a wall. Um, if I was able to tuck my trunk, I, I think I'm allowed to tuck my trunk, but I think that would have made a difference because the speaker deck is good, it's just my truck. My trunk is at a height where it is too high for me to see out of the car now. So I, I do want to kind of squat that down. But again, the aluminum bumper stayed straight. Pretty impressed of by that. It, it never did anything. Like the, the back of this thing was actually pretty aggressive. Inside here, you can see that the frame rails are still straight. Like, there's no creasing of any of the interior panels, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, it just got a little hard to see out of. Uh, again, I did get strutted on this side, you guys can see. A lot of paint rubbing. Tires are still good. Suspension's still good. See, this one, maybe I'll just pound it in just to get it away. But nothing is bent or broken underneath here. What ended up happening... I ended up using the front end for a half decent shot and it veed it in really, really bad. But the throttle ended up, ended up getting stuck wide open. Now that's kind of a weird thing for this because there is no throttle cable. This is a drive-by wire setup. I was a little heavy on the pedal, so I think maybe I broke the gas pedal. I'm going to see if I can hook my scanner up to it and see the long list of codes that it comes up with. <laughs> we'll have to see. I would actually really like to run this car again, believe it or not. I'd like to take off the bumper shocks and weld the bumper right to the front and get rid of the aluminum, maybe a little bit straighter, a little bit harder of a bumper. Um, it did not get hot. I did lose my radiator though. So I'm probably gonna loop it and go from there. But uh, I don't know, I, I'd really like to see how well this thing actually does. Um, I'd like to see with a better bumper. I'd like to actually, like, listen guys, I run Camrys a lot. And I, I've been telling you guys that Camrys are not the best in stock class. Again, the same Camry that won Aurelia ended up winning, winning this show. And it is a pre-ran Camry. It came down to, I believe the top two were Camrys. And the third one was a W body. So, a very well-known car is taking top for, for a three, so it still kind of goes down to 
it's a waste of a car, but they're still going to be probably one of your top cars. But there was two Honda Civics out there that are both this style. They did pretty good. There was a Nissan Sentra, like a 2010. It did half decent, I seen. Um, there was an old Honda Civic out there, and it was like a, a 95, 98. And it was a five-speed manual two-door. It uh, held its own pretty good. But stock class kind of really opens it up where Camrys are still going to be dominant, but it's with the price of them, it's kind of getting a waste of them. But yeah, that's my uh, impressions of this Honda Civic. I kind of enjoyed it. So let's go check out the caravan, which I'm disappointed in. Well, here's the caravan. As you guys can see, it's driven back into its garage because this thing does not like the rain. This thing gave me a very hard time starting at the show, which I was extremely disappointed in because it took me an hour just trying to get it to run to go through tech. Um, what ended up happening at tech is the toggle switch for the fuel pump died and it uh, wasn't turning the fuel pump on. So had to MacGyver it and it seems to be working now, but it's kind of shitty. In the derby... I was laying some half decent shots, I think. Uh, there was a door shot, but it was partially my fault, partially his, his fault. He tried to throw the door to stop the hit. I had my brakes on, slid into it. It happens. It's especially hard on a small, muddy track, but listen, guys, door shots happen. It happens to me, it happens to you, it happens to everybody. The back of this thing was pretty good. It did start... Bending this this tray down here, but uh, the old body did much better than the new body. I was actually the first caravan out. I made a big back end hit, and the whole dash died. Van died. The old caravan actually ended up winning the show. So congratulations, Josh, on his win. And part of our agreement was is that if we win, we donate the money back. So we actually donated the money right back to the fair board. And Josh was happy, I was happy, Fairboard was ecstatic. Um, what made me a little bit unhappy about this is afterwards I shook that fuse panel right there. My dash came back alive and the thing started right back up. And I don't know, I'm going to try to fix it for Barry, I think, for the caravans. But there's no rad cradle left into it so I'm probably just going to loop the rad lines. I'm probably going to pull the hood off of it and just try to use the back because... Uh, Still want to use it, it's still a running, driving van. I just got to figure out this fuse panel. I got to figure out what's wrong with it. I got to figure out what's loose. I'm going to take out pretty much every fuse in there and clean them up, put them back in there, see what's going on. Check for wires underneath that are grounded not properly and just try to go through on what might be the issue. But overall, disappointed with the van. Um, I had a buddy actually tow this thing home for me, so greatly appreciative of that because I was going to spend four hours driving back and forth from the show last night, bringing home all my garbage. But um, with them towing this home, it only took me an hour, and I, I, I shot her 60 bucks for helping me out. So I just want to say thank you to my friends. I, uh, this was the first derby this year where I actually had fun. A little disappointed in the van, but that doesn't matter. I still had fun. You know, I was able to go there. I w it wasn't a whole lot of drama. It was a great ran show by the Mount, Fo Mount Forest uh, Derby Tees and the Mount Forest Agricultural Society. That's who the money was donated to. I had a lot of fun, and it was just fun to go there and wreck stuff and not worry about any of that stuff. So, disappointed with the van. Impressed with the Honda Civic. And there you go. You can see it. But what we're going to do is later on this week, we're going to go through the electrical in this and see if I can try to figure out why it lost all power. The, the dash just went dead. It wasn't turning over. It wasn't doing nothing. I changed no fuses. I did nothing. And the thing fired up and drove out of the ring. So a little disappointed on that. But it did help uh, all my friends push their, their cars on the trailer. So I was kind of thankful for that. The Civic, it was fun. It was so fun just derby in a car that wasn't a Camry that you didn't know what to expect. Like, you know how long it's been since a car has gone up and blocked my rear vision like that? It, it was just something different. It just reminded me of the days where I was derby in, what do you call it, Mazda Protégés and Mazda Protégé 5s and basically Cavaliers and anything I could buy I was derby in, like a 91 Nissan Maxima. 
you, I never knew what I was going to be able to buy, and whatever I bought, I derbied, and that, it kind of reminded me of that, and it brought me to a simpler time, and I just went there to have fun, I didn't go there to win, I went there to have fun. So thanks everybody for watching, um, I couldn't have had a better weekend, it was extremely fun, I had no problems, so thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you back here later on Zach's Workshop.